Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again. This time we'll go for some crystal and see how we go. Honestly, am I still going to continue on with the Golden Bazooka? I think I'm going to put random on for now. And we'll jump in as crystal and just see what we can do. Uh, in terms of my crown, let's go for the inverted crown again. I've been enjoying that. And we get ourselves the disc gun. But of course. But of course we get ourselves a disc gun. Why wouldn't it be? My goodness. To be fair though, to be fair... I've had some good runs with a disc gun. You've just got to play to its strengths. And that is not the easiest thing in the world to do, mind you. But it can be done. It can be done. I mean, picking up another weapon will certainly alleviate some of the pain points with it. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, if we can get ourselves like bolt marrow, I could make this work. But I mean, hopefully we just won't have to stick with this weapon for a super long time. I don't remember if going into shield mode actually would do anything to help us against... This weapon. I, I don't remember. Ooh. Almost found out there. Can you die already? Thank you. Oh, I just... Okay, I'm going to have to test that out if I get that again. But we might not get it again. We'll see. Got ourselves a blood weapon here. Don't mind if I do. Are these guys new? They have dual weapons. Do they always have dual weapons? Or is that is that something entirely new? That might be new. Honestly, a blood weapon, although weak. Very, very good weapon to start with. Um, I still want to go through here. So I think it's when, when I open my rad canister that that changes. Yeah, so I want to go through there and see what's in the uh, in the cursed area. Because I think there is something new in there. I'm just not sure what. Oh, it's very nice for killing those sort of enemies as well, actually. <clears throat> I like the fact that it tells you it fires shells slash pellets when you pick that up now. That's good. Yeah, I'm just going to sort of stay back a little bit here and, and hope for the best with this guy. I mean, honestly, having a having a thingy blood weapon made that a hell of a lot easier, to be honest. My god. These guys are firing a lot of shots. If you could die, sir. That would be really nice. Thank you. I can go through here. I do want to put blood uh projectile speed on this i guess i, I thought it was blood i was gonna put blood in my blood weapon i thought that would have been funny i'll take the shotgun instead though here um i'd rather have the shotgun thank you and he dies as we go in bolt marrow there it is um this is kind of tricky hmm i'm gonna go with um pl plutonium hunger i think i think it makes the most sense boiling veins i still really want to make work but mood swing does speak to me but honestly We've, we've been saying about how good extra feet is recently, and it still holds true. It still holds true. So I kind of want to come in here just to kill these guys to get some extra rads. They're a little dangerous, but honestly, it's kind of free rads right now, so why not try it? But yes, we've got a lot to do with each character. We need to get our regal visions, our special mutation with each character and see what they do. I'm very excited to try that out um, and see what we can get from that. Inverted big boy here. I'm, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I can knock back his explosive shots, so he's not really that much of a concern. Ooh, is this new? No, it's just slightly different. It's got like a green tip now, but it's not new. Thank you. We'll take the Jawbreaker as well. Lovely stuff. We're leveling up reasonably quickly here. Got some good stuff on our uh, on our weapon. Um, I'm going to try and go for some things I don't normally take. So let's take Hammerhead here. There's a bit of swarm going on with that. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, hello. Hey, that's pretty cool. There's like literally stuff visibly in the wall with Hammerhead now. That's new. I think. I don't use Hammerhead a lot, so I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's new. Oh, didn't mean to go in there, but we're in there now. Right, remember, remember that we have shielding, because on this stage it might be very, very important. Like, in that situation, right there. You're not stealing my ammo, big boy. That'd be my ammo. That was a, tr a dirty trick that you pulled there, good sir. A dirty trick. Spear launcher. I think I'm actually pretty happy with what I've got right now. We'll go on through. Um, and I'll take alien testing, so I think that'll pair quite well. Reload speed. I'm going to keep on going with that for faster fire rate. Why not? 
More rads, thank you. Just a nice extra rads, isn't it? Why not? Why not? We'll escape from here. Bullet popper. Not exactly the best for us. Dude, the, the sneaky little ninja boys. They're doing some stuff to me right now. Also, I actually think that um, Alien Intestines is incredibly good for us. Our defense is very offensive. Not particularly pleased with, uh, with this situation here with all the cars and stuff. It's going to be a little tricky here, but... Plenty of hunger's helping out. Heavy crossbow is certainly a good one. We got Splinter. Um, I'm going to take Splinter for projectile speed on this thing for now, but I probably want to swap this out pretty soon, to be honest. Apparently not right now, though, but very soon. Um, could take that. I'm going to go with Gamma Guts, though, because it works while we're shielded, as it said. Beautiful. That was stupid of me. Yeah, this weapon is far too weak for this situation, thank you. I would like something new, please. This thing's not too bad. Toxic thrower. Little dangerous, but I'll take it. Toxic throw is a little dangerous, but yeah, I don't, I don't mind a little bit of danger. Ooh, I love the inverted area here. It seems that I um, that I fire alien intestines when I enter it and when I exit it now, which is kind of nice. Like, watch, enter and exit. Yeah, that's really, really good. So it's on hold and release. On press and release, sorry. I think is very, very good. Getting through this area, not too bad. Herming. Ooh, Herming could be interesting in this, especially if we get, uh, what's it called? Um, Eagle Eyes on top of that. I'm interested to see how that could go. Splinter Machine Gun. Splinter Machine Gun, I think it's going to be a little better here. And Mood Swing for, with Toxic, I think could be quite fun with our Toxic Thrower here. So I'm going to try that out. Uh, and then I'm going to go with Bouncer on that as well. Club here. I'll take that for now. Um, let's go see how it does against these guys. Not the best, apparently. Not the best. <laughs> the bullets, though. Holy shit. Uh, what does this do? Your weapon fires twice. Reload time is almost doubled. I'm going to try that out. It might be good. Morph on that, why not? Okay, this area is absolute chaos. I don't know how I'm alive, I'll be honest. I'll accept it, sure, but I'm a bit confused. <laughs> that was that was wild. Um Go hide Somnia here. It's kind of harder to hit yourself when uh, the poison turns to other stuff as soon as it hits walls, actually. Makes it a lot, lot safer to use poison. I actually really like this. This is amazing. I am liking the toxic thrower right now. In we go. A lot of portals we're getting at the minute. A lot of portals. Um, reload speed. I'm going to go Bouncer again on this thing. Um, take off. Take off Morph. I'm going to go Double Bouncer. I like the way this crown moves. Watch when he moves. It does like a little effect behind him when he moves. I like that. Uh, Director Penetrator. Ooh, that seems spicy. Okay, he is still he is still asleep, so let's do as much as we can. 
Beautiful, we got him. Okay, bit of a stupid hit there, but nothing to write home about. It kind of turns this thrower into a bit of a, like, shotgun type thing. I really like it. I really like it. Heavy, dense gun. That is quite the heavy, dense gun. I might have changed my crown again, to be honest. This crown is interesting, but maybe not the best for us. Hey, we got extra feet so we can get through here easily. I like it. Got to remember alien intestines. I keep not using my shielding because I don't need it, but I can do damage with it now, so... Ah, the director version. This is awesome. It literally redirects the stuck pellet. That's really cool. Okay. Going well. It's going well. I'm going to grab that ammo there as well real quick. Thank you. Um... Go with that, thank you. It's kind of nice to know that while they're asleep, I can just kind of meme on these guys for a little bit at least. Ah, oh, bollocks. I missed a lot of shots there. I caused myself some pain. Not looking forward to this guy with this setup, to be honest. Holy shit, I'm doing like crazy damage sometimes, but not all the time. Okay, we got him. Guy's always a bit of a bit of a toughie. We got him. <clears throat> Go for our regal visions here. Not particularly enthused by my weapon selection for right now though. Blood plasma gun, um, I think I'm gonna take. I think. Instead of the penetrator, blood plasma gun. Yeah, that seems interesting enough. Let's try it out. Okay. What do you take from me? Plutonium hunger, sad times. Adrenaline fuel, very sad times. An extra, aw, oh, you just took all my favorites, you coward. Are these guys being asleep is, uh, is, is real nice. We got our ultra here. Didn't need all these cops in here, but they did give me a nice, tidy bit of ammo. I appreciate. There's one of these bloody stabber boys next to me somewhere. I'm, I'm waiting for him to do his thing. Look, he's right here. Look, just, 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 just do it. Ah, this, this enemy annoys me. And you do it the moment. Oh, you bastard! I don't like that enemy at all. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Let's have a look-see. Uh, shielding fires lasers immune to enemy contact damage while shielded. That we already kind of are. Max HP, move while shielded. Um, shorter shield, shoot while shielded. While stationary, increase reload speed. Uh, significantly shorter shield, deflect projectiles. Herman on enemies invulnerable to all damage while shielding. I'm going to go with this one, I think. Shotgun lands could be fun. The poison, man. The goddamn poison. It is sad times. It lasts so long. The poison. It's too much. I know you're going to go for me at the worst possible goddamn time, you stupid. Oh, man. That area... I really love it, but I goddamn hate that poison. That poison's bullshit, man. <laughs> like, I don't... I, that enemy just needs to stop being such a goddamn coward and pop out. <laughs> stop hiding from me, you, you little shit. I'm gonna no crown, to be honest. I've, I've always... I've, I've long since said for anyone that watches any of my other content, I, I'm a... 
a big, big um I don't know the word. I'm a big supporter of not having enemies in game that basically just are there to make you wait. Like, in in uh, The Binding of Isaac, there's the hosts that basically just, like, pop their head up every now and again and then go, ha, 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 you can't hit me for a little bit. I hate that. It's bullshit. Just, I've got enough damage to kill it. Just let me goddamn kill it. Don't make me sit around. And those guys, not quite the same, but I don't understand what their conditions are for, for, for fighting me. They seem to just want to chill for a while. And I guess they just wait until I'm fighting with something else to jump me. But that 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 annoys me. That fills me with a great pain. Micro grenade, I'll take that, thank you. Um Eagle Eyes I'm taking. Honestly, I'll take both of these now because I've got eagle eyes. Eagle Eyes aim assist is top tier. Hello, big bandit. Goodbye, big bandit. Okay. Easy enough. We're clearing through the floors quickly enough here. Yeah, I just need a better build when we get there. Let's try and build, like, the perfect build here. Um... So, let's go with Glass Arm Cannon. We've already got higher HP, so that seems good. We'll go with a full damage build, I guess. This seems like a decent setup to start with. Eagle Eyes is going to be really good. Got to remember that some of these are going to get taken away from us. So, no matter how good our build is, it's not going to be perfect for the fight. We do get them back at the end, which is good to know, so it's still worth taking, like, good mutes. But still. My pizza time, why not? Excuse me? Why my pizza time portal open over here? That's strange. Um, Ecstatic Fists is our next on the list. And I guess I'll take the Golden Screwdriver here. Explosive ammo, thank you. Toxic line. That pr that's, we've proven that can be very good. Where's Big Fish spawning? Literally next to me, good. I think we've got a really good weapon to kill him very quickly. Yeah, we do. Get out of the way, fish. You bastard, as if it placed it there. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, we're good. <laughs> right, three we go. Anything else in here is going to be really good for us. Tough Shell. Tough Shell's very, very nice defensively, so I think I'll take that. Sextuple Blood Rifle. I don't have a weapon mod. Yeah. I was wondering why it was prompting me, but... With Eagle Eyes, this thing will be really good. Obviously, ammo hungry as all hell, but really good nonetheless. Probably stick with this thing, if I can. Because it's just, like, really good at taking out massive swaths of enemies. Golden Splinter Gun, not bad. Level 6 as well here. Yeah, this is, this is not bad. We could probably do a back muscle at this point. 75% longer crystals, kind of insane. Um... Hmm. I'm going to go with that. Rope knife. I can't take, unfortunately, because it's a cursed weapon. But impact wrists is, of course, very, very good. I saw one of you come back here. Yeah, I knew it. It's always one of these birdie boys that likes to play the funny ha-ha. Yeah, that, that, that kills quite fast. Oh my god. Well, this was kind of amazing. We're getting a lot of ammo out of this. This weapon's pretty gnarly. Blood launcher shotgun. 
think I'll take that. Yes. The double blood weapon. Blood launcher shotgun. Oh, man. That feels good. Okay, I'm liking this setup so far. Two blood weapons gives us a lot of safety, but I'm really hoping to get back muscle here. Um, I guess lucky shot is probably a good idea here. Um, yeah, we'll go with lucky shot here. I'm just going to beam him down. I don't even know how much health this guy has. Yeah, thought it would go by pretty quick. Come on, back muscle. Come to me when I most need you. The, uh, the blood shotgun thing seems to have pretty low range, which is not ideal. Oh my god, I should have shielded for that. My bad. Seems to do good damage, though. That I cannot deny. Flame Axe. This does have unlimited ammo, but I still think this is going to be better. Level 8. There it is. Back muscle, baby. I think we need that. Less ammo consumption and more ammo drops along with being able to hold more ammo. Seems like a recipe for this sort of weaponry right now. And we've got a lucky shot on top of that as well. So hopefully, ammo won't be too bad. But looking at ammo right now, clearly not proving my point. Gatling Slugger. Interesting. I'm still going to stick with what I got. In through here we go. Let's use this on this area. This will get uncursed now as well, which is rather nice for us. We don't have a crown right now. I'm not looking for a crown. I've, I haven't played no crown in a while, and I think I should more often. Weird. So sometimes it goes really far, other times it doesn't. I'm not quite sure why. Okay, here's that boy. Demolished. But we like to see. Just quickly, let me check what this is. Quadruple flame director shotgun. God diggity damn. It's tempting. It's tempting, sure. But blood weapons are just so defensively strong that they, they, they seem like the right way to go. We've got an inverted area here. I don't actually know if I want to be going through the inverted area, to be honest. I think I want to be going normal way to make sure I get the uh, the regal thingy area. I'm going to go with normal way, just in case. The, the, the radius on this thing seems to be a bit random as well, which is kind of a good thing. Sometimes it seems to hit a lot of enemies at once. What else we got over here? There he is. Okay. This guy should get demolished by this gun. <laughs> As expected. He very much did. Which is why I'm looking forward to going to this other area. Because I think I'll be able to do a pretty good number on uh, anything that stands in our way. Lucky shot. Sad. Impact wrist is fine. Ecstatic fists. Annoying, but okay. And in this area, what do I want to take? Probably just Rabbit Paw, to be honest. Although I might have been better off taking the one that... Um, that, that ring attack is well annoying. At least you can get in the ring. I kind of forget that. A few more of these invisible guys around. I know that for a fact. Not having Plutonium Hunger is also... A little bit of an inconvenience here. Did manage to dodge that poison shot there. Honestly, I'm dodging shots like a motherfucker right now, and I'm not even sure how... Okay, I'm probably going to die though now. Ugh, man. This area is crazy. Dude, can this little dude just piss off for a hot minute? I just... I want him to... Just, there you go. Just, just do your shot, so I know when you're going to get out my goddamn life. Please. <laughs> 
Stop acting like you're all that. Get out of here. It's a very thin path for so many bullets, game. Kraken grenade launcher sounds pretty lovely. Blood plasma rifle, blood launcher shot, blood plasma rifle. Yeah, let's go with the blood plasma rifle, shall we? We good, we good, we good. Oh, man, this has been tricky. Okay, what should I go for this time? I think I'm just going to go for fortress. It's super basic, but it's just like, it helps a lot. <laughs> Try and get ammo where we can. Try and remember that some of these are walls. Okay. Most of the big guys. I really like these the design, like visually, of those enemies. They're really cool. And then obviously having an area where it's like all purple bullets is is hell, but also really cool too. Quickly grab that. Toxic cannon. Interesting. Okay. We should just absolutely demolish this boss right now. I'm hurting. Where is he? Oh, there you go. Okay, unfortunately, I'm pushing him back quite a bit, which I was kind of hoping I wouldn't be doing, but... I guess I'm waiting for him to come back over here now. Okay, we got him. Right, now it's on to fighting us. Which, I, if, if, does Crystal shield? Is Crystal going to shield? This needs to not knock back so goddamn much. Making my life harder. There you go, we got him. Awesome. Okay, this weapon was perfect for this. So blood weapons are what you want to bring down here. We get to see what our regal vision is, which is awesome. Press E while shielded to turn into a torpedo. Costs one health, you are immune while in torpedo form. That sounds interesting. Oh, that's fucking cool. Okay. That's awesome. Dangerous, but definitely awesome. We go, boom, bow. <laughs> That's so cool, man. I love it. Can I just use that whenever I want as like a way to get around? I can. It does cost health though, remember. I've, I've got to remember it does cost health. Okay, maybe not the best to use on those big boys. <laughs> Kraken launcher. Frost, I guess, could be good on this thing. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and go with replace weapon mod stations with ultra chests. Yes, please. Okay, I'm happy. And this will be our first uh, throne victory. Oh, the generators are back. The generators are back. Interesting. The generators were used to be in, uh, in retail in vanilla, but they got removed. Excuse me? There you go. Oh, wait, what? I just tabbed out the game by accident. God damn it. Didn't realize I could do that. So now I've got to destroy these if I want to go on a loop, I think. There you go. Easy kill. Sorry for tabbing out there. I accidentally clicked on the other side of my monitor. Hello, good sir. Thrown two. Okay, it's cool to see their back. Good, good. All the ammo is mine. And we are on a first loop. Oh, wait, no, we're not. The heck is this? I don't know what this is at all. What? 
We can trade for your portal essence. You get portal essence by taking portals. First time here, Crystal. All sorts of stuff. Maybe something useful for Crystal? Take a look and buy. One max HP costs 30. I've got 22 portal credits right now. Reduce IDP vans this run. Ooh, nice. Unlock secondary starting weapon. Unlock secondary starting weapon. Excuse me? Increase saved run slots cost two. What's a saved run slot? Yes, please. Secondary starting weapon unlocked for crystal. Excuse me. <laughs> what the hell? Um, and then I want to see what this is. I can keep doing that, okay. I don't know what a saved run slot is. I don't really understand that. Um, I want to see what happens if I do, like, an explosive chest here. How good is that stuff? Okay, it's pretty decent tier. Then we got... Ooh, we got, like, a... Golden weapon chest for... Okay. I fucking love this. What is this? I absolutely adore this. This is awesome. Another one of your mutated rats. Let's see how strong you really are. Try out one of my challenges. Give me portal essence to start them. Ah, uh, we don't have enough to start any of these. Double boss HP, one max HP. Take one extra damage from everything and 20% reload speed. Oh, man. That's cool. Okay, and then I guess we just talk to you. We talk to the eye. Moving crystal. Yes. How do I escape? How do I leave? Ah, there you go. Leave. That is super goddamn cool. Also, right now, very, very glad I have impact wrists on. Cool. I'm going to try and unlock a, bun a boatload of um, golden weapons. My god, impact wrists is like a necessity for looping nowadays. There's a sniper somewhere, like having having some pot shots at me, but it's not working out for the old lad. What could possibly be left? A few of these guys, I see. Oh man, I'm liking this a lot. Reduce the IDP then spawned this run is uh is an interesting one. I like that a lot. You good here? Nah. You good here? There you go. Now, now we're good. We didn't fight Mum there. Weird. Big assassin. Where exactly is Big Assassin exactly? There he is. Does he kill all the stuff now? Does he like go after other enemies for me? Thank you, Big Assassin. Very kind of you. Plasma cannon. Nice. I wonder if I have to have regal vision in order to enter that shop, or if I just enter it at the end of every run now if I try and loop. I'm curious. It might be something that you have to have regal vision in order to uh, access. I suspect it is. But it might not be. Get out of here, crows. Right, through here we go, we get a thingy chest in here. 
awesome. Golden wrench unlocked, baby. What the hell is that thing? The doom launcher, the morph hammer. I'm going to stick with what I got, to be honest. I'm very happy with what I got. Oh, oh, although I could go to the courtyard and see what's going on in there. Let's do the courtyard, shall we? Just in case it's changed. I don't think it has. I didn't read anything about the courtyard changing. But I feel like I owe it to the update with the amount of crap that's going on in it already to give this a go. I've never actually been to a loot courtyard either, I don't think. This could be interesting regardless. Good. Beautiful. These weapons that I've got are amazing. Okay, thank you, Van, for spawning in a logical place there rather than right on top of me. Can we, at least I can see when the boss spawns now. Hey, I just killed an inverted one. It took me to an inverted area. Interesting. My god, this is absolute chaos right now. Absolute chaos. I'm loving it too. <laughs> Inverted crown glutton. I don't even know where he is. Is there? Okay. Apparently, it's really predictable, that effect, but I don't really think so. <laughs> the one where he, like, dashes around you. Apparently, it's super easy to predict. Is he still alive? What was doing that now? Supercharge burr. that it? I don't know. There's another enemy up here, apparently. Try to check the body of that guy real quick. Can I pick up the body? Ooh, another chest here. Lovely. Take the multi-crown. So I think this area is mostly the same by the looks of it. Oh my god. Okay. anything else I want to do here? I guess I could take that for a free mutation, right? I don't have enough rads to do that right now. Hmm, didn't get a free mutation. Not quite sure why. Does that not work anymore? Is that being patched out? Hey, big dog. How you doing? Nice knowing you, bud. I think this is better. The Blood Plaza kind of seems to do an insane amount of damage. Just keep going. Find the bosses. There's somewhere about. Just one long straight here, isn't it? God damn. Blood weapons are just the best. I don't know how close we are to having this stage done. Feels like we're getting close. Splinter shovel. I really should have a melee weapon at some point, but I'm honestly doing so well with my ammo setup right now that I don't need it. Super Kraken gun. Enemies all the way up here somewhere. All good? All good. <laughs> 
I literally killed it before I fired a single bullet. That's what we call efficiency, baby. Hyper machine gun. Seems awesome, but yet again, I cannot deny the absolute power of blood weapons. They're simply too good. Especially with this, like, eagle eyes herming that we've got going on. He threw a car at me. That was that was the closest we've come to death yet. He did throw a car at me. Didn't appreciate it. This thing's like the, the single target killer. The other thing's like if there's too many shots on screen. Oh, there's like a big old group of enemies like this. No, 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 no. I want to go in here. Getting as many golden weapons as I possibly can this run. Heavy flamethrower. That seems chonky. I like it. I might take it. Yeah, I'm going to take the heavy flamethrower. It seems more fun. Can always switch back. I don't have, like, a easy bullet destroyer now, though, is the only thing. I think I'm going to have to stick with this thing. It's just simply too good. The defensibilities of it are, uh, are absurd. Frankly, absurd. Who's the little trike master that's following me? There you are. Heavy flamethrower seems cool, but life seems cooler. Get out of here. So I wonder if I can go to my regal area again. That's something we might be able to figure out today, if I can survive. Honestly, the problem right now is health isn't coming as fast as I'm taking damage. I'd like more health. More often. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about Hyper Crystal. Forgot you existed. And so did you, apparently, because you're dead now. Get wrecked. Yeah, damage-wise, this thing's definitely fallen off a little bit. And I think it is only as good as it is really because of Eagle Eyes. But it's still very, very, very good. Yeah, I can do it again. I wonder if there's a sort of advantage to doing it again. Dude. Wow. Let's try it out. Why not? Let's see what this area is like on a loop, I guess. There's a time for everything now. Time is now. Don't like you making your circles everywhere. I'm probably going to die to the poison just because there's so much going on in these areas. If I get hit by even one, yeah. I thought I was going to die in this area. I could have used my shielding a little more. Still though, still though, that was really, really cool and we saw a lot of new stuff there. I am very excited to see that again. And just quickly one thing I want to check. If I go over to Crystal now, how does my golden weapons work? If I turn off my gold, if I put like that, does it just dual wield them? Oh, there you go. Right mouse button to select. So I can go. Oh, that's 
awesome. That is awesome. So what I can do now is I can go like flare gun as my constant secondary and then randomize my other one, I think. So then I can go and play crystal now. And I've always got a flare gun secondary, but if I, I don't want to quit quit. How do I, uh... anyways, restart. And then I do go back again. And yeah, I get a different primary and a guaranteed secondary. Oh, that is, that is very, very nice. Probably going to do the flare gun, but yeah, let's actually go quickly and check. What golden weapons did we unlock? So we unlocked a good few. Did we get any of the new ones? Um, it doesn't look like we got any of the golden splinter guns, which is saddening. But we got some good stuff on the last. Okay, wait, our goal now on every run is to unlock our secondary weapon and check out our regal vision. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.